Tell the viewers how it smells. Wow, it smells like the inside of a butt. <laughs> Day three, Cincinnati. The show got canceled. Right before we leave 634, I hit up the guy who was booking the show, and I was just asking for, you know, the usual information, like, oh, when should we show up, you know, whatever. And he tells me, everything at the place has changed. Everyone's dropping off the show because they're making it a pay-to-play show. If we wanted to still play, we could. If we didn't, he'd understand. He wasn't dealing with this anymore. So we decided we weren't gonna do the show. We're not gonna do pay-to-play, especially not on our tour where we're already spending too much money. That was personally upsetting because that was gonna be the first semi-circle show. I was looking forward, you know, I haven't seen my friends performed. I was looking forward to finally performing. And it was just kind of like a little blow. And it was like, all right, well, there, there's going to be another show. Everything was kind of in relation, because even though music was the objective of where we were going, if something like kind of crappy happened, it was like, all right, I'm still with my friends like, driving across the country. I'm like, all right, this isn't the worst thing in the world. <laughs> so we decided we were going to skip that. We were just going to meet up with Poppy. We booked a campground for the night, and we were just going to hang out and wait for the next day. You can't miss it. <laughs> Half a mile down the road. Then she make a right. Make a right. She said you're going to have the office. Right? Yeah, she's going to have the office. I guess this here is the office. Yeah, I can. Look for a spot. Going out. Is that far? <laughs> Yo, okay. You can go ahead and park your rig right here. Let this you nice young so? lady pass. This is the first time we had to set up our tent. Uh, Debbie and I which took far too long. We did not understand the directions or anything. How do you feel about that? Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's high, it's three feet. This is tough, I don't. This is tough. First I time, mean, these, okay. These fools First over time. here with their greatness. Whatever. <laughs> all right, um, yep, did this all by myself. <laughs> I'm not gonna brag or anything, but you know, it's all done. When we got to Cincinnati, we had to you know, we put together our tents and stuff, and then we had to go shopping. Problem is, is that like, n Poppy still wasn't in yet. She had already had like a lot of like mix-ups on like what to bring, and like there was a big problem with like cabs and maybe missing our flight, and so we didn't really know what was going on. So it, it was looking like we were gonna have to shop for ourselves, which is the real sad part that comes out of that <laughs> situation. <laughs> Extend guideline to ground and stakes. Repeat with remaining what? guidelines. My favorite Where's guideline? Who is guideline? Right before anybody's about to leave, who walks in? Poppy. Hi, <laughs> I am Poppy. Poppy! We were all pretty excited to see her. I especially was, I mean, not especially, not the one that missed her the most. I mean, you know, Caitlin was there. <laughs> Although it had already only been like three days, it was like, here's somebody that personally I see every day. <laughs> and, ah, oh, I missed you. <laughs> I arrived on the third day of tour. I flew into Ohio because my sister came to visit from Belgium and so I um, met up. She wasn't leaving until a few days after they left so I thought I'll let them go on ahead and I'll meet up in Ohio. Right off the bat she was Poppy. Just the super, uh, super clear thinking, um, organized person. We went food shopping when she got there which uh, wasn't that fun for me because I was I was really hungry. Hey, what's going on in there? Hey, what you doing? Oh,
Right, but the screen is... Yeah. No, yeah, because if I held it the right way, it would be all nice cock-a-doodle-doo. Cock-a-doodle-doo. <laughs> <laughs> you adjective. <laughs> <laughs> I think that night we made some burgers. Those burgers were nice. Those were really good burgers. Poppy made delicious hamburgers with lentils in them. It looked really weird, especially because they wouldn't stay together, so we got just a mesh of something. But they were so good. We could, we did fail to start a fire. It was pretty bad. I don't even want to talk about this. You know, it was a lot of like one person trying to tend to the fire at a time, and like nobody wanting to help but nobody also knowing what they were doing. And like the fire just not wanting to start. So that night I, I vowed to learn how to start a fire. Um, and eventually by the end of the trip, I was, I was pretty good at it. It's a brand new day. <laughs> yeah, what time is it? <laughs> going to Detroit, I think. And we're gonna play some music for the Detroit people all night. When we were on setting up the tour and I saw we were going to Detroit, I was excited because Detroit is traditionally a music city known for so many like like this Motown or like Eminem and like you know, things that always attracted me and I always wanted to like just see Detroit and kind of feel it myself. We played at this place, the uh, Trummelplex, which was really interesting. It was like an anarchist collective art gallery slash venue. Have anything to say? I really like it. That's what I gotta say. Decided to play. Let's see what we, uh, see what magic we make on stage. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Got anything to say? Yeah, second that. You know, ready, uh, pick a yellow thing. <laughs> ready to let give, out the magic. Give it 100%. No shit, a hammock. Community gardens are destroyed by development. More than just the garden is lost. People lose the power to maintain green space within their neighborhoods. Urban development in Detroit and the economic policies of the World Bank and IMF, International Monetary Fund, both destroy community livelihood and local sustainability. By growing our own food, urban gardeners are stepping outside the global economy that forces third world farmers to grow their food for export. Communities grow hope. That's beautiful. I booked that show uh, with Carmel. We met her one time when she came to New York for a show. And she's awesome. Carmel, she makes the best songs. They're so real. I don't even know how to explain her songs. You just gotta listen. That was super exciting because we got to see friends of ours who we had met not too long ago, really. Carmel, Liberty, and Pancho Villa's Skull at a show in our hometown where they were touring and we played a show together. They're really great people. I love their music too. I love how Carmel is really, you know, talks about like her life situations through her music. It's really funny. And also Matt Wixon's Flying Circus Blade. Uh, Carmel was great as always. Matt Wixon was awesome. I hadn't heard them before, but I did know of them. So it was cool to be able to hear them and be like, oh wow, this is actually pretty legit. Detroit was awesome because the people who were hosting us were like, yeah, you can just start cooking on the sidewalk. That's totally cool. So uh, Kate Moss and I pulled out the um, camp stove on the sidewalk and started making what has now become sidewalk chili. Sidewalk chili, yeah, boy. When we were making sidewalk chili, Poppy and I were outside. We were, ma we were making this pop uh, sidewalk chili, and some guy came out. This is how we met this guy who um, tried to hook us up with staying at a place. Jeff, Jay, Vinny, and Grace said we could come over and stay at their place, 
and um, it was super nice. We just met them that night. We got there, we got to this house to eat this chili, and it was really yummy, and everyone ate it, and we all had like a warm experience talking to everyone about our tour. I can't. Keeps I can't style. do it. <laughs> Eamon's hugging up on some dead flies because that's the way he <laughs> likes he to do it. People kept asking us where we were going next. And we had to respond with Escanaba, Michigan. And like, yeah, we're going to wake up early and just do this. Like, you guys should just leave tonight <laughs> and get as, mu get as far up as possible. I brought up the concerns to the rest of the members. And even though we were tired and wanted to sleep, I told them I was good enough to drive two hours or so to just get up and go because we might not make it to Escanaba. So we decided to leave that night instead and uh, get a head start. And that was the first time I drove and it was so scary. It was the scariest thing I've ever done in my life. We slept at a truck stop that night. I've never been happier to sleep with trunk truckers before. That was my first night sleeping in the bus and I thought it was pretty good. Actually, I was pretty impressed. Might have been one of the best nights of sleep for me, I think, because we were very tired. The next morning, we uh, we all went and brushed our teeth in the uh, rest stop bathroom. So we were driving along. I drove for maybe 10 minutes, and Frisco is there like, hey, what's that smell? And I was like, oh yeah, I smell maple syrup. Yeah, I smell maple syrup. And he was like, no, that is coolant. So we got to um, a gas station just to see, because we needed gas anyway, but just to see what it is that was going on. Maybe we could pinpoint where this little leak was coming from. And um, I looked under the, I looked under the bus and it was just raining. <laughs> and at that point, you know, that's the point where you're just far enough away from home that, and you're not like so far though that it's just like terrible. Um, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. <laughs> no, that's stupid. <laughs> thanks for watching. Uh, come. Like, comment, and subscribe to the Pigeon Pack on Patreon. No, <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe to the Pigeon Pack on YouTube. And if you're interested for ex in exclusive stuff, check out the Pigeon Pack's Patreon, where you'll get good recipes and some videos and some other stuff. <laughs>